In this video, I wanted to give you just a very simple concept that you can utilize um, to consistently beat man-to-man -man coverage in Madden 22 as well as Madden 23. This concept is going to actually apply to both generations or both uh, years of the game. This is a universal thing, and it's something that I think you need to understand because in Madden 22, I think certainly the meta towards the end of the year has been to run a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. But in Madden 23, I think man coverage is actually better than it is, and much better than it is in Madden 22. And so I have a, you know, just kind of a basic hypothesis. I think you're going to see the meta early on is going to be man to man. And so you need to be prepared um, to be able to uh, beat man to man. And so we're just going to show you a play out of the Washington football team's, uh, the, the bunch formation out of their playbook. And this is a play that you can find in, in other formation or other uh, playbooks as well. But the concept is also something that you can recreate. And what's really interesting about this is it's real straightforward. However, one of the things I do want to uh, kind of give you a quick preview of Madden 23, this route on bunch trail here on the circle receiver to the outside, and I'll just get on the field and show it to you. That route is actually in Madden 23, an unbumpable route in Madden 22. You'll see here that if I press coverage, a lot of times he'll jam him up. So as you can see here, he gets jammed, and now they're kind of running on the same, him and the tight end are kind of running into one another. And it's not exactly what you want, okay? So that's just something to keep in mind. Now the next thing that I want to point out is that when we're talking about beating man-to-man -man coverage, I think personally, the general rule is you want to run against man, you want to sit against zone, and you want to have routes that... You want to have routes that are essentially natural picks and rubs. You kind of want receivers to want run into each other, but you want them to go to a different area of the field. So, for example, if I was to take, let's let's just kind of try to create some natural rubs here. And the bunch is a great formation to do that. Let's say that I take this uh, player here, Knox, instead of on a trail route, I'm going to put him on a, on a flat route to try to get him to run into um, the circle receivers guy. As you see, they run into each other, and now I can throw my flat and get 10 to 15 yards against man-to-man. -man. So that's a simple little way that you can kind of do something like that. Another thing that you can do to help defeat man-to-man -man coverage is to use something like a motion. So let's say that I put Sanders on a slant, and let's just say they don't want to give up that route to the tight end, so they take their safety, they put him in a purple, and I'm going to motion this guy out. And what you'll see right here is now I have a little slant coming underneath and he's not able to be pressed because why we motioned him and snapped him while he was moving. So those are some basic things. Now, another thing that I want to really point out to you about beating man to man coverage year after year, one of the best routes for beating man to man is the skinny post. And you want to basically throw this right on the cut right there. As you can see that third, never going to play that, especially in Madden 22. Now, what I will uh, quickly point out to you about this inside uh, third zone is if I wait on this post route, that's why I want to throw it on time. If I wait and try to throw that here, well, now I've got a safety that I'm dealing with and I got that ability for that man coverage player to be able to catch up and to be able to outrun me to the ball. So those are just some keys that you need to think about because if you're going to throw this post against man, you really need to throw it in a window where he's going to get that sharp cut. You can do that aggressive catch and really cook man coverage in that way. Now, another thing that I want to point out is there's every year there is certain routes that are really effective. There's routes that are more effective than others. For example, in Madden 23, or in Madden 22, wheel routes, probably the best route in the game by far. The second route's been really good this year is the deep crossing route. And the third route that's been really good this year is the deep post route. In Madden 23, one of the most effective routes for beating man-to-man -man is actually going to be the corner route to Cole Beasley. Now, this has been good years year over year, but especially in Madden 23, I think you're going to see the corner route is going to be one of the primary things that you need to be able to do um, to be able to attack man-to-man -man coverage. So we've got that nice corner route. Now, another thing that I want to point out is there is an effective route in Madden 22 that is this running back out. You see that he gets some separation against man. I can throw that to the sideline and have, you know, a 10 to 15 yard play. Understanding what those routes are year over year are really, really important. You have to kind of get in the lab a little bit and test it because sometimes the out route is the way to go to beat man to man. Sometimes it's the swing. Sometimes it's the wheel. Um, so you just kind of have to play around with that a little bit. The wheel route in Madden 23 is not as powerful as the wheel route in Madden 22, but it's still very good. So don't sleep on the wheel routes in Madden 23. And then again, this little drag right here. Now, 
Another thing that we could do, let's say we're trying to create some natural picks and rubs, we could put circle on a whip. And what you'll see here is they're gonna kind of whip in and kind of mess with one another on that. And, and again, we're just trying to get kind of get that natural mesh, that natural rub. Another way that you could do this is we could um, just simply take Knox and motion him to the left side and put him on an in route. And now we have a mesh concept, right? They're just gonna come run across Typically, they'll run into one another, and one of them will get open in terms of having the ability to get separation. Another way that we can kind of accomplish the same basic principle is to put the running back on an in route. Now we have a mesh coming underneath the middle of the field. See how circle gets wide open now because, again, when you get defenders crossing one another like that, it's very helpful to get these, these routes open. So the mesh concept to me from all kinds of different formations, and this one you know, you can do kind of this way as well, where you're blocking this guy is really important for being able to consistently be able to make beat man-to-man -man coverage and that combined with a good post route and that combined honestly with a good formation like a gun bunch where the receivers are stacked like this or they're compressed those are all keys um, to being able to beat man-to-man -man year over year so i uh, just going to leave you with that. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you're watching this and you want to get my entire gun bunch offensive ebook um, i'm going to leave a link in the description to join my patreon by becoming a patreon member you'll get full access to my gun bunch offense you'll also get access to all of my madden 22 um, offensive and defensive ebooks we've got over 30 offensive and defensive ebooks already and then we've also going to begin working um, on kind of a cool project in madden 23 training camp getting you guys ready for the next year's game and another thing to just point out with the Patreon that I think is really important, might, people might forget, by becoming a member, you get all the updates too. So it's not just, it, the guide's never going to expire essentially, right? So as long as you're a member, you're always going to get the updates. And so that way, like in Madden 23, if you get it today, you can learn concepts that I'm going to be putting in there this week. And then you can also prepare yourself. And then as soon as Madden 23 launches, we're going to have a whole revamped version of that ebook for you. And again, it's all going to come together with your membership. So... Thanks for watching the video. If you want to become a member and get my full Gun Bunch offensive ebook and the rest of the ebooks over there uh, for just 10 bucks, there's a link down below that you can click on. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.